I run a nonprofit. It's called Ladies in Training. I am a lifelong Detroiter. I am a child advocate. Detroit's youth have been forgotten. When you walk through the neighborhood, kids are just adults. Like, they're just little bitty adults. For me, it was important to mentor, to be a guiding light to people because when I started working, I was looking for that. My whole life, I've been searching for someone to guide me, someone who was like me, someone who could relate to me, somebody who I could be transparent with, somebody I could talk to about my parents, my cousins, my boyfriend. But I wanted to feel like I fit in. I didn't find that, so I created it. The best future for Detroit youth looks like kids actually experiencing life. Kind of giving them a voice and letting them hear themselves so that they know that they matter. I think a lot of the problem in the past has been that everybody wants to do stuff for the youth, but they're not talking to the youth. My work is really just exposing kids to themselves and to greatness. I can go anywhere. I can go to the restaurant, to the board meeting, to the club. <laughs> I can go anywhere and fit in. So why, when they talk about positive role models of black women, we didn't see women who could do stuff like that? When I was young, I had an image of success, like a woman in her suit with gym shoes. Like, that's what success looked like to me. It was important for me just to be honest with myself, like, oh, I have lived a life, I do have a past, my parents aren't perfect, I wasn't spoon-fed this lifestyle. I'm the first career woman in my family, in my immediate family. My mother worked a job for 30 years, no promotion. For me, I'm just getting her revenge because all of the good stuff that's in me is stuff that she taught me to be.